and hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you some breaking news today you know we got a couple of minutes left until Stargirl comes on out I will be doing a review for that later on tonight but um we got some big breaking news people I'm talking about like okay this 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 is scary in a in a weird way but also in like oh come on you know it's also a bummer it's just a bummer I, I found this very like at first, I thought it was a practical joke. And then when I was like, oh, okay, this is just a rumor. This isn't going to happen. I was just freaking out for like five minutes. Then I started seeing it pop up in every other social media that you can think of. And I'm starting to see other people really go with this. So according to The Hollywood Reporter, we all know that Batwoman just ended its first season. A little shorter than expected. I think it was supposed to have 22 episodes. I'm not too sure how that season was originally supposed to end but we all know it ended and it ended in a great big cliffhanger if you want to go by watch my video for that click over here to go check it out but um yeah it was it was a really cool you know uh like oh my god what's gonna happen next season then we got wind about oh is it gonna get another season you know we had some rough patches with you know ratings and the supergirl and batwoman weren't doing good are they gonna get another season well, we all knew that was going to happen. I thought that too. I kept my hopes up. So Batwoman got a season two. Yes, awesome. We're going to get another season. According, you know, because of the whole pandemic, we're going to get until next year. Which is okay. All right, fine. Rather have our actors be healthy and safe than, than have it now. So we don't have to worry about that. Cool. Got that check. Now, <clears throat> we got a new problem. Now we need Batwoman. Well, what do you mean? Well, let me explain. According to like all these reports, or you know, Hollywood Reporter, Deadline, apparent Screen Rant is reporting this. Ruby Rose has done as Batwoman. I, 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 like I read that, I was like, okay, what? No, no, for, it could have have a million different reasons for this. She could had you know bad blood going around with the you know the people who created the show. I don't know. Like I said, they didn't really discuss it. Uh, Ruby Rose did leave a, uh, a, a statement saying that I was very appreciative of the character. But she made a decision that she wanted to step down. So, who knows? Maybe she has a personal problem that she doesn't want to deal with right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um, I, I really don't know. They really don't specifically say why exactly that they pretty much she left the show. It doesn't say that she was fired. So, we know... You know, it looks like Ruby Rose left the show her in her own. It was her own choice, pretty much. So I, I don't think there's any bad blood from her and CW and or Warner Brothers. So you know, they could be future opportunities for her to come back and do something else one day. Who knows? But it just feels like something happened, and she doesn't want to, you know, make it public yet. And you know, she's no longer going to be a bad woman. And the CW people. Also said that they're going to start looking to recast her. Okay. Okay, fine. What do I think about this? I don't like it. I don't like it. Now, I'm obviously going to get used to it once the new season starts. I'm still going to watch um, Bat uh, Batwoman for next season. I'm still going to root for Ruby Rose. I like her a lot. She's awesome. I really appreciate her playing this character. I thought she really brought this character to life and I really liked it every moment with her on screen as Batwoman. She crushed it. So the next person who plays her, eh, let's see how she does, whoever it is. But um, yeah, it's just a bummer. Yeah, But what can you do, you know? For all we know, maybe she had a one-year contract. Maybe that's what it is. And it ended. And maybe she decided, you know what? I like this character, but I feel like... I you know, it's putting too much, you know, warp in my body and all this and that. She did get hurt one time, so maybe she's having flashbacks of fears for that. I, 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 like I said, I'm not sure. I don't know her personally, but maybe that could be the reason. Maybe she had a problem with somebody on, on set and she doesn't want to make it anything worse. Maybe she decided to leave. I, like I said, I don't know. And um, I'm not even going to imagine what it can really be, but um, who knows? But um, I just hope that, you know, you know, at least I just hope if we if we ever find out what really happened, it's not bad blood between her and the studio 
and and the uh, CW as well because you know we kind of want her to come back to maybe Warner Brothers one day you know instead of her going to Marvel one day you, you never know maybe one day they'll cast her in something else maybe in a big blockbuster movie for DC or Warner Brothers movie don't want her going to the competition you want to keep your actors even if they're in the smallest roles keep them happy and you know cool with you that way one day you can bring them back after they're done with their roles and whatever they're doing come back into bigger roles so that way they don't go to your competition you keep them around you're good to go so who knows what's gonna happen now but um yeah it's kind of a bummer though because like, like i said i really liked the batwoman i really liked the show it focuses on her character it never tried to be oh look it's it's Batwoman versus the Joker or Harley Quinn. You know, they never try to put all the Batman villains into the Arrowverse without actually being Batman villains. They tried with her own villains. You know, they had Alice, they had Mouse. We got Hush. So that was cool because technically Hush, I'm not even going to consider him a Batman villain. Even though he is a Batman villain, but technically he never made it into the actual live action anything. So he's only been in comic books and cartoons. I'm not counting that. So technically I'm going to count him as a, a Batwoman villain. So we got to see him, you know. So it was kind of cool that they did, you know, other villains just for her. And they didn't focus on her trying to be Batman Jr. in a way. You know, I really liked the Ruby Rose. I thought she brought a very cool dynamic to the character. You know, I, I, I felt what she was doing with the character felt real. And felt cool. Like, yeah, we get, we know that, you know, Kate Kane was a lesbian. We know Ruby Rose is that as well. So, and, and it worked. And it worked and it was great. And I enjoyed every moment of it because she was awesome in that role. And she, she was, she's very good. I think she's a very good actress. Especially if you put her in the hands of somebody who knows how to direct her properly. She can crush any role. That she does. So, um, I wish her the best of the luck. Hope she's okay. And, you know, nothing medical for her to um actually leave the show hope it's nothing like that but um hope she's okay and um i wish her the best of luck and i say thank you for being batwoman and now to the next person who plays batwoman whoever that's gonna be i'm sure they're gonna crush it i'm sure they're gonna do a cool job with the character it's gonna be a little weird watching it knowing that ruby rose was season one and now we're going into season two so now we just have to win. I just hope also it doesn't end up being that, oh, Kate died and this is another Earth version of her or something. I hope none of that happens. Please, none of that happens, please. But, um, yeah, I mean, listen, casting, recasting has happened lots and lots of times. People get over it and then they move on. You know, Ron, um, Ron Howard was once a uh, war machine. Then we have, um, who was the other guy? Terrence Howard, sorry. He was once Ro Ro Rhodey. And we got the new guy. All worked out. So there's that. Um, yeah, so recasting people has happened many, many, many times. But we're just going to have to get used to it. But I just find it very weird and odd that they were announced it now. Seeing how we had, they're not even going to start filming the show yet. But um, who knows? Maybe, maybe this happened weeks ago. They just decided to announce it now. Maybe they decided to just... Maybe it literally just happened now, and she just went, I'm done. Bye, guys. And they're like, okay, bye. Who knows? But uh, we just have to wait and see what happens. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this. Are you guys mad, happy, sad? Let me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you very much, and have a good night.